Hi, Andrew here. Today we're gonna to take a look at some 357 Magnum HSM 125 grain UHP. The UHP is Spears Unicore Hollow Point, and to the best of my knowledge, it's either the same thing as Gold Dot or very similar. Uh, they at least look the same, both before and after being fired. They have the eponymous Gold Dot in the middle after they've expanded and they tend to perform the same as Gold Dot. So if they're not the same thing, they are very close. We're gonna shoot it out of my wife's Smith & Wesson Model 13L into Clear Ballistics Clear Gel. All right, first off, that recoil was kind of light. I haven't chronographed this yet, but I'm thinking pretty modest velocities for 357. Also, the penetration depths look to be a little inconsistent. Um, and both of these bullets are sitting at pretty much the end of the, their respective tracks. What may be difficult for you to see from that angle is that there's actually two shots here. There's two, one impact here, one impact here. One of them exited here, the other one came to rest here. Because this one came out of the block, I took a third shot. This is the first, then the second, then the third. The first shot, the first shot penetrated to 14.2 inches. The second shot exited at 14 inches exactly. And the third shot penetrated to 18.7 inches. Let's take a look at the projectiles. Pretty uniform expansion, and we're seeing that gold dot in the middle. Again, uniform expansion. The bullets look a little different. Almost like this one was going a little faster. Seems, it may be hard for you to see from your perspective, but this one seems just a bit flatter. The one on your right is the one that didn't penetrate quite as deeply. Okay, so you can probably tell already that neither of those bullets expanded. Yep, dropped a little bit of denim along here. The tracks do look a little bit smaller than the tracks here. One of the bullets stopped at about 29 inches. I say about because it's actually <laughs> stuck to the bottom of the block. Ha, ha, ha. 
There you go. So again, I have not yet done the chronograph for these, but I'm thinking that these are pretty weak sauce for 357 Magnum. And that's not surprising for HSM. They, they tend to load more budget-oriented stuff with a bit less powder, cutting every corner they can. To be blunt, this is pretty lame. The velocity was kind of weak sauce, and that led to poor terminal performance. Bear in mind that the UHP and the Gold Dot, if they are in fact different bullets, although I suspect they're the same, perform really well against heavy clothing in, in other loads when they're pushed at the velocities they're designed for. This just didn't do too well, and it's not a, an indictment against the Gold Dot or UHP bullet. This is simply a result of not pushing the bullet as fast as it's supposed to go. We did get to see a really cool example of dieseling in the gel though. That flash and fire that you saw in the gel has sometimes been mischaracterized as a sonoluminescence or some other thing going on there. Um, a lot of people have speculated, but so far as I understand it, what's actually happening is that, well, the gel is flammable and as the bullet passes through, some of it's vaporized. That vaporized flammable material fills up the temporary stretch cavity. Then, as the cavity collapses under the elastic tension of the gel, the pressure in there increases and just like in a diesel engine, as the pressure increases, so does the temperature and if the stoichiometry of the mixture is correct, it ignites. And we saw a really cool flash this time around. Bottom line, I would not recommend this for almost anything. I suppose it's useful for hunting small coyote-sized critters, but otherwise, probably not the best choice for defensive use. If you disagree, or if you think I got something wrong, or if you just have a question, then leave a comment below. I love to hear your thoughts on these things. If you want to rent a Phantom high-speed camera like the one that I used for the video in this test, Get in touch with AIMED Research. Their contact information is in the doobly-doo. Have a great day.